Yo, what up, what up? We back with another video, man. What up, YouTube? I got my boy Shaq in the building, What man. it do? What it do? What's going on? What's good? Hey, man, you already know. The House Boys is back. Hey, look, we said we was going to do that shit. We got we really, got, we gotta run, we we gotta gotta really do that shit. So we got to run see, with it. We got to run with it. Y'all going to see hella content coming from us on the House Boys shit. Um, just know we coming and we ain't stopping, yo. So, uh, Shaq, what's been up, bro, since the last time we seen you, bro? Man, bro, I've been scaling. Yeah. Going high, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We've been scaling, bro. Going oh, yeah. up, man. A lot of things been going up, man. Going up. Hey, tell them to check you out in the sports band, bro. Because, bro, it is like non-stop Listen, hitting. listen, listen. Now, y'all know if I'm coming to you about some game, it's a real game. Hollywood Unlimited Picks is the best sporting bet check you're going to be able to get in and make money immediately. $100 a month, best $100 you're going to ever spend in your life. You're going to make that $100 back same day. If you don't, it's refunded. That's all I'm going to say. Crazy guarantee, and your boy Tez is gonna stamp that. You gonna click that and throw it up on the ground because you already know what's up. So yeah, man, we bring you all the YouTube video. We got some uh, some boxes that came in for one love. I got some samples in for me. I'm gonna bless my boy with some stuff as well, and uh, my content team as well. But this video um, was one that I had a couple followers ask me in DMs. They was like, "Can you start talking about drops?" Now me and him have done a lot of drops. We've sold out a lot of drops, and I think this is the perfect YouTube video for beginners, intermediate, and even experts on how you can sell out your first drop, yep. or just sell out drops more, uh, more consistently. So with that being said, obviously we wanted to show y'all some boxes. We we do this shit for real, for real, right? We don't play around. For real, and, for uh, real. Yeah, we're gonna go to the front. We're gonna break this whole thing down to y'all step by step. And then we're gonna give y'all a couple plays to run. And then we want y'all to report back to us immediately on his Instagram and on my Instagram. It's gonna show up down below. Let us know how it went. And uh, yeah, we see you on the other side. Let's get it. All right, so let's talk about how you can sell out on your very first drop. Before we talk about that, let's talk about kind of like the sequence when you get up to your drop, right? But, so when we order an inventory, one of our big things is kind of understanding how much money we about to spend before we try to do a drop. Right. So like, say like we going in and we say, all right, I wanna just spend $5,000. How many products, how many units is that, right? right? So like in most cases, when you was first starting out, how many units was you buying? Oh, uh, at the time, probably like no more than 200 units of order. But when my first first order was 100 units, right? Only 100 units. So that's a good starting point. Now, if you're a smaller clothing brand owner, one thing that we always tell you guys is start with pre-orders, right? Kind of gauge where you can get like, I would say like gauge where you can get the most amount of sales in the beginning right. on what type of product. So like for us, like I know you did a pre-order when you first started. So kind of tell them your variation and I'm gonna tell them my variation. Oh, my pre-order method or what led up to the pre-order? Uh, so your pre-order method when you did it. Okay, so basically my pre-order method was basically me uh, already finding my manufacturer first. So I knew for a fact that this manufacturer I wanted to work with. And boom, immediately after that, we come up with all the idea, the design that we want. We verify that, we get our sample in. Once we get our sample in, then we go ahead and talk about exactly what we finna do with this sample. So um, the first step is, as soon as you get your product in, you start marketing, right? You're on TikTok every day, you're marketing every day. This is probably week one. But the pre-order is finna get started with your manufacturer already, so you just tell them you want the minimum order quantity. They always go to minimum order quantity. If you don't know what to order, you just order minimum order quantity. So week one, straight marketing this product while my product, uh, product is already getting made. Week two, we getting ready to get ready into the dropping part of the product, right? So we upload it on Instagram, TikTok, wherever it is, a drop Friday, second week of production. You still ain't came out of pocket with no money yet. The manufacturer trusts you because you, you know, you've been doing business with them, I suppose. You already know this, your guy, what the case may not be, you right. know what I'm saying? Yep. So second week come, second week of production, all you're doing is just letting everybody know you got your drop coming to prepare for this pre-order. Now, now pre-order need to go no longer than, what you would say, a week? I say like the longest I've seen go is 30 days. <clears throat> so I say the cap is 30 days, but I personally, the longest I've ever went was a week. A week. Yeah. So I, when I first did my first pre-order, it was three days, uh, but three days is really not enough to see how much you can really scale if you're a new brand. So like he said, 30 days, minimum, I would say a week possibly, because after you know all the trial error that I've been through, I would say a week is enough time to do a pre-order. But as long as you got the, the com, uh, communication with your manufacturer, let them know that hey, uh, by this week is when I'll be willing to pay for this order. He gonna be having the order on time. You're gonna be able to get the sales in on the day that you drop. So you got all day from that day up to a week after to make the minimum order quantity amount for your inventory. Exactly. 
So that's literally the same way as me. Um, the longest I've ever done a pre-order was seven days. I didn't really like it that much when I went seven days. Um, 72 hours for me was like that perfect sweet spot. But again, you gotta really know your brand and your audience. Right. So like for my audience is like, I took a long, I, I've been doing this for a couple years now and I've built a really solid email and text message base to where if I drop something and I'm doing a pre-order, I know how many sales I can get in just based off of my previous analytics of how we did before, right? right. Now it does depend on the type of drop that you have, so obviously keep that in mind, right? But Absolutely. what I would say is again, like you said, having that manufacturer send you in the sample. So look, this right here, this piece right here is a sample. What I did was I got on Instagram Live yesterday and I just started marketing it free. Look, look at all the, the different things about it, the high quality, flare, stack. Then you got the Aglets with One Love on it. You know, I'm, I'm constantly talking about the benefits of what they're about to get when they get this product and that this ain't just some regular smuggler product that they just gonna get off the, off the side of the street or at the gas station or inside of the mall. Right. It's like some high quality shit that you just can't find nowhere else. And exactly. in the colorways, exactly. you go into all of the benefits right so what I would say is like take out a piece of paper right now and write down every single benefit about your stuff right yep. whether it's the stitching whether it's you know how it fit on your arm whether it be the you know the the emblems on the back or you know the embroidery whatever it is write down every single benefit because those is your selling points right if you don't know your selling points it's gonna be real hard for you to like get the amount Fact. of sales you want to come in Fact. so like even if you like if you're not big on fashion just yet right like if you're not there yet you got to talk about the features and benefits before you start turning around and focus on fashion because people want to know why they get in this first right so you order your, uh, your samples in from your manufacturer it depends on the price um, we teach y'all multiple ways how to get these for free right so i mean you should already know based off coming on our lives the content we post on our social media so make sure you just go tap in there if you really don't know how to do it we might talk about it a little bit later as well right um, but one big thing is like i said you get those samples in you start marketing on TikTok, instagram you start having a photo shoot with it if you want to have a photo shoot now mm -hmm. mind you if you don't have a lot of money what i do suggest is that just take out your phone man like like y'all don't gotta have like i think people think like y'all see us now and we yeah. got content teams and shit like that but it's like we didn't start like this so like how you start is important you just gotta start so don't don't be afraid of not doing it because you got an iphone or you ain't got no like high high quality gear you don't need none of that bullshit, all right yep. you're not gonna get to this point until you actually focus on starting right now with what you got all right yep and another key thing about the pre-order method is the fact that <clears throat> the most important thing when starting a new brand is you got to realize that you giving a bunch of people a new product mm -hmm. for your new business so the pre-order method help you get this high quality manufactured work at this high price point taken care of early so you don't have to worry about that in the beginning because you what you don't want to do is send a whole bunch of new customers some cheap some cheap material mm -hmm. because you was too scared to pay that high price the manufacturer gave you and you just wanted to cheat yourself by going low and go ahead and just get some supply in before you even have a demand it works both ways you can create the demand with the pre-order and you can get the high quality pieces with the pre-order and make the money on the back end to go ahead and take care of that so you ain't got to come out of pocket so it's benefits to the pre-order method i know a lot of people say nah get the inventory now don't listen to that worry about you worry about what you're trying to do making sure that you're trying to get your brand to the highest level possible and you can't do that by cheating the system by getting cheap material because you want to rush the process take your time that's what the pre-order method is for thousand percent now let's talk about how we can increase sales fast so like for us what we realized is that when i start doing my pre-orders the first 24 hours i would say the first two to three hours hit right yeah and then the last two to three hours also hit and the majority of the time it starts slowing down in the middle right. but let's kind of talk about it right so two of the biggest things that you need is scarcity and urgency right we only got this many hoodies left this is a limited drop we only got you only got 72 hours to cop these you got 40 hours 48 hours left you got 24 hours left you got six hours left you got two hours left look when this comes out you ain't never getting this ever again like you have, have to ask for money absolutely you you started the business and you just forget that the business need money so you too scared to post you too scared to ask you too scared to go on sale you too scared to say you need this because you don't want the money obviously like if you <laughs> if you're trying to sell how are you not asking for money so of course we just said say that scarcity and urgency yo hey i'm telling you you gotta you gotta ask for the money you got to now again the reason scarcity is so important is when you give people a small amount of slots for them to get something or a limited amount of products right so let's say i only order 25 of these and this is only available to 25 people even if you didn't order 25 you can say that and get the people to rush in and get it because they don't want to miss out on a spot absolutely it's called fear of missing out right absolutely so you never want to like 
just drop a pre-order and then not have no scarcity and urgency. This is 99% of the reason why a lot of y'all reaching out to us and you're not getting no sales in your pre-order. That's, nah, a, that's the only reason why. You're not putting no time frame on it. You're not saying this is a limited drop. And Nothing. You also, you got to be serious sometimes on some of your drops. So like, I might drop this and be like, yeah, this colorway is never coming back out again. And it never come out again. Nope. But maybe a year later, I drop it. And I remember, I told y'all it wasn't coming out again. This is my last time dropping it. Boom. Hit them again, pre-order on it. Then you get them to come in. Got to think like a businessman. Got to think like a person that sells. You got to learn how to sell. Got to, bro. <laughs> you got to learn how to sell. Basically, you have to learn how to sell. In order to get your business from like like wherever it is right now to five figures a month six figures a month or just the seven figure mark you have to sell yeah like even if you don't got influencers even if you don't got money for ads you just have to get on the camera get in front of it post the content don't care about the analytics stay consistent do it two to three times a day like like when i first met Shaq, he was doing two three tiktok videos a day i say it every time so like, if y'all not listening to the stuff we saying right now, you can't come back to us and be like, oh, it didn't work. Cause you didn't execute on it. That's why it didn't work. And, and you didn't do it over a long enough period of time. And don't overthink when he say, just make three videos today. Videos making for content is so easy when you're trying to build a brand. All you really just do is just let your audience into the brand. Hey, so today we finna get ready to design this product. I want y'all to let me know what y'all feel about this product. Boom, show them product one, product two, product three of what you design. And just let the company speak for itself. Hey, so today, I really don't know what to make. Uh, I'm in having a little creator's block. Have any of y'all ever felt this same thing? Boom, that's content. That's making people feel engaged and one understanding of what you're building, what you're going through, and make me feel more able to buy with you because you sharing your story with me. Yeah, that's the honesty, bro. Like, <clears throat> a lot of people really rock with me and Shaq and Kayla and all of the rest of us who really do this clothing brand stuff and post it. They rock with us because of the transparency. Absolutely. Like, people don't want to just think that you're just, you know, fake person or you're not really doing this seriously. You want to be transparent. Like, yeah. sometimes we may not get the sales we want. We may not sell out on the drop. Yo, y'all, I ain't sell out on this drop. I thought it was going to sell out. But let me just be honest with y'all. Here's the things that I love about it. What do you think? Why didn't it sell out? And then you give them the link. But one thing that you talked about is that's a gem. I hope, I hope y'all just took that in because there's a lot of y'all that probably didn't sell out your last drop. He just gave you the video that you need to shoot not right now to get this whatever you got sold. Right. Get it sold. That's I'm taking that myself. <laughs> no cap, bro. You got to be honest. You gotta, you gotta be I'm honest taking that sometimes. myself. Absolutely. You got to be honest sometimes when, when inventory is not moving how you want it to. It's like, what are you scared of? Like, is somebody like going to say something bad? You know, I've I, I realized something. I run a lot of ads. Yeah. Ten percent of people who see me throughout my entire life are not going to like me for things that I cannot control. Whether it be how I look, how I talk, how I dress, how I move, how I walk, it's just gonna be people that don't like you. Period. Thanks. And you're no different from me and Jack. We have haters. You're oh. gonna have haters. Yeah. You, you need them. If you don't have them, you ain't working hard enough. Thanks. That's all that means. So with that being said, we talked about scarcity and urgency. We talked about the way you work your way up into it uh, of doing your first pre-order and, you know, getting the samples in, obviously posting the samples on your, show, your Shopify store, um, you know, having different, you know, pictures showing the different features and benefits. Um, one big thing I want to talk about is descriptions, right? Right. Um, a very quick and easy way that you guys can get a description for your, uh, for your products and like even just good product titles, go into ChatGPT and you tell it this one thing right here. I know I might talk fast, but I'm going to slow down for you. Take the role of an expert product titler, right? Give me a product title for this product, and then you give it the features and benefits of the product. And you do the same exact thing for the description. It's going to make it in 30 seconds for you. So it does not get easier than this. Don't tell me that you can't do this. All you need is a computer or your phone. Get the shit done. Stop making all these different excuses as to why you can't get this stuff done. I just gave you an easy play. You don't even gotta write the description yourself. He just, he just gave you a gym. That was a big one. Use AI. Like, come on now. Like, and, and right now, there's so many different things that AI is going to be doing for our businesses, especially clothing brand owners. Like, imagine if we wrote down, like we asked ChatGPT to give us all the emails and text messages for every holiday and we just scheduled it out. Crazy. Never missing a holiday ever again. Ever. So it's like there are certain benefits that we'll have um, that you guys are going to actually get just by using AI. All right. So with that being said, now let's talk about the next phase, which is the shipping out phase. Okay. Now this is where a lot of people have questions, right? Yep. So Shaq, I'm gonna ask you. Orders come in, boom, right? How long do we tell the customers on the shipping? If the order just got in, 
So let's say we just placed the order. <clears throat> Pre-order is already done. Pre-order already done. Right. How many how many weeks do we tell them, yo, you're not gonna get this until this time frame? I'm gonna tell you, you ain't gonna get it until a week, right? If I just got the orders in, right? So they they in my possession now. Nah, let's talk about wait before we go do that one. Okay. Let's do if if the orders aren't there yet. They ain't got placed yet, right? So you finna get ready to start the pre-order. Exactly. Okay, so say for instance, your manufacturer tell you that this bulk order is finna take three to four weeks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell my customers it's gonna take six to seven weeks. Mm -hmm. Give yourself that 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 gap to make your customer satisfied by getting it to them earlier than the time you told them. Mm -hmm. So you wanna create that freedom. So if you say it's gonna take four weeks of production, cool. Customers, six weeks is gonna get to you. Just that simple. That simple. Literally, I, I really don't have anything else to say. <laughs> that. It's four to seven weeks. Um, again, <clears throat> you want to ask your manufacturer before, like when you're giving them the amount of orders that you got in for that particular product, ask them how long do they think it's gonna take. Then add two weeks on top of it. Yeah. Just that simple. Just, it literally. And make sure when they give you the time it's gonna be done that they give you a date and not just a week. I don't want a week. Give me the actual date you said because if not, then that's what we need to talk about point deductions. A little, some little price I need to be keeping in my pocket because you didn't meet my deadline. Exactly. You got to have a deadline with these manufacturers. You know what I'm saying? Got to. Put your foot down. Don't let them run over you. You in business. Handle them business like a businessman. That's the real shit. Don't do every conversation with your manufacturer through text messages. Mm -hmm. Get on FaceTime with them. Talk to them. Fill them out. See what they feel like. See what they talking like. See if they actually about money or actually about improving your brand do they actually let you listen to you when you tell them about improvements that you want or do they t come off as they know what they're doing like there's different things you need to feel from a manufacturer that you can't get through test messages thousand percent now let's talk about marketing when the orders came in and you just fulfilled the orders right a lot of people forget this part they just be shipping stuff out they don't even document anything how you how you document everything leading up to the drop and don't document the drop you worked all this to get to this point and didn't even document it. That's the content that was going to sell out the drop the next time. Exactly. You have to like, bro, some of the stuff be so simple. But then again, I, I put myself in y'all shoes. Yeah. And, and I was go nice back there. to the beginning. Because yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. You have to. Like, for me, it was exciting getting my orders like after pre-order. Get the orders in. I just packaged up all of them. Yeah. Best believe my mama, my sister, my cousin, my best friend, the dude from the neighborhood, he about to take this picture of me on top of these bags, <laughs> and I'm about to send this motherfucker out on Instagram and TikTok, and they gonna hear about the content that our, uh, they gonna hear from me on the content on how this job just went. Yep. Now you gotta do this if you want people to come back and shop with you again. You got to share the lifestyle. You got to. You got to share the lifestyle. Now the reason this is important is because not only is it extra content, right? Yeah. But number two, you showing people like one thing I realized is that people want to buy when when other people are buying stuff, right? So when they see other people then spend money on your brand, they're oh. gonna be more inclined to spend money on your brand. It's just, it's just that simple. Literally, think about designer brands. You want designer stuff because the people you look up to yeah. buy the designer stuff. Yeah. When have you seen the CEO of Louis Vuitton wearing Louis Vuitton? <sighs> Who he get to wear it? Yeah. Little baby, money bag, yo, Glorilla. They get them to wear it because it's gonna influence you. So now you gotta start thinking outside the box like shit. All right, perfect. Now when I go to these like these these concerts or if I go to a pop-up shop and I go do, do all these different things, I'm spending a block on anybody who got a social media following and giving them stuff for free. Now this is how you're gonna get your stuff out there even more. Again, additional content. But if you're not doing that, he just was cooking right there. Yeah, y'all, y'all probably missed that information, but that was that was that was it, yeah. Yeah, look, so now I wanna talk about the emails, right? Right. So what type of emails are you sending out when people are waiting for their pre-order? Like when they when they already placed their order, you just place the order on the stuff, mm -hmm. and now they just wait. Right. So you get some questions coming in, like, "Hey, how long is it gonna take?" Blah blah blah. What type of emails are you sending? Okay, so for one, you need to be sending the email. Hey, uh, sorry for you guys. You know, sorry for the wait. Uh, like I said. The order, the, the the order is still within the uh, the deadline. We have still have one that went over the deadline. It will be in in X amount of. They just keep them informed on the shipping process from you from the manufacturer to you, and also throw in a little deal every now and then just to ease their words. You know what I'm saying? If you still got some on the site, uh, we know that the order is still out 
here go 15% on your next order, whatever the case may be, just to keep them not waiting on you to tell them when it's coming. Mm -hmm. They said, well, not having to ask you when it's coming. Yeah. You should already know when it's coming because you're supposed to be constantly letting them know when it's coming. Exactly. Now, if you do want to set up some email automations, you can. So I'm going to go into depth a little bit. Now, this might sound like some extra shit, but if you want Shopify, you know what I'm talking about. So if you go into your Shopify settings, right? Mm -hmm. You go over into the settings, you go over to your emails, right? Or you can actually go to notifications. You go to the notifications, uh, the notification section. Once you click in there, it's going to have like different uh, columns of different emails that are being sent out. So you can send one out. You can curate an email for refunds. Um, you can curate an email for people who just placed an order and things like that. Or the easier way to do it is an app called Pre-Order Manager. Yep. Now, this is going to allow you to actually utilize the entire app for your entire pre-order. So you really don't have to move off anything. You can set up all your email automations in there. You can set up the discounts in there. You can yep. set out the dates. Like say like you got 72 hour pre-order and it starts on April 15th to the, and it ends on the April 18th. You can literally have it set in there just like that. You can also add like little notes. So before somebody clicks add to cart, yep. it'll say, hey, we're just notifying you, reminding you that this is a pre-order. It's going to take four to six weeks. So like for me, when I did my pre-orders, I like to tell them at least three times. That way there's like, there's no way you bought this. There's no way you missed it. There's, there's no a, way. There's no way you missed it. First way, I'm marketing it to you on the page, on social media and all that stuff. Second, when you click it add to cart, that little note gonna pop up. Third, the email gonna go, go get sent out to you telling you that's gonna take four to six weeks for your order. Last, I'm gonna send out an email a week after like, hey, just wanted to remind you, we still on pace to hit our deadline. Yep. But, right? Here's an additional 20% off. They can use that 20% off on another time frame. So this is how you get people who already spent money with you to continue spending money with you. Yep. One thing that I've realized is that it's easier for somebody to buy something from you a second time than it is to get somebody new to buy something from you. Absolutely. They don't know the shipping process. They don't know if you real. They don't know if you gonna scam. They don't know those things. There's all these different, uh, you know, uh, prerequisites or different things that they're thinking of as far as like you would be in a scam. And that's just me being honest. There's yep. a lot of clothing brand owners out here that's not fulfilling their orders. So a lot of people scared. They don't want to shop with black owned businesses and all of that stuff. Yeah. You got to prove them otherwise. Be on top of your customer service. The customer service is more important than the actual pre-order drop itself. You want to prove to them that, look, I'm a high quality brand owner. I care about my customers. I care about my products. And I'm making sure that you get the best quality stuff in the fastest time possible with the best fucking customer service that you've ever seen out of any of these other brands. Regardless of who, who you learn it from, whether it's us, you need to be out competing us on the customer service. Like, Absolutely. For real. We got to. That's the most important part of the business is the customer service. Literally. If you ain't got no customer service, you ain't got no customer. So what I recommend is that you rewind this video all the way back to the beginning and watch it two to three more times. Because there's little small nuggets that y'all miss. Like me and him know this because we do this for real. And yeah. So it's like there's little small stuff that you may not be doing that you need to write down. So what I recommend, number one, <clears throat> hit the subscribe button, right? Houseboys YouTube channel, that's gonna drop soon. So when we tell y'all about it, just go and hit that subscribe button instantly because you already know we just pushing out fire, right? Yeah. That's number one. Subscribe to both me and Shaq on YouTube. We both got our separate YouTube channels. We going crazy. Go check out Limitless Investments and go check out Hollywood Unlimited. Sports betting, clothing brands, stocks, trading, investing, all of that stuff. We got it included in the Discord communities. Um, and we got hella people in there for you to actually talk to. So the most important yes, part is that when you're doing this clothing brand stuff, is being able to communicate with other people or, uh, in the community of other people who are doing the same thing as you, all right? Right. Be transparent and be with them and you can grow together, right? And build those relationships. So join those, hit the subscribe button, rewatch this video three to four times. This last one is very important. Oh. I want you to comment down below what was your favorite gym, how your first pre-order went. And if you watch this video and you use these tips for your pre-order, I want you to comment how much money you made down below or just DM me or Shaq and actually both of us. Let us know your results. Tag us on your story with your sales so we can repost it and get other people to realize that we really dropping game out here. We're not fucking around. We're not playing around at all. So look, if you really like helping people like me and Shaq do, because we're doing this for free, yo. Like we really just giving y'all as much game as possible. If you really like helping us, us uh, help, uh, we do that. Fuck. Ready? Yep. Yo, so look, I need you to do me a quick favor. If you really like helping people, me and Shaq are doing this type of content for free. We're gonna be pushing out way more volume at a quality pace, right? But one thing I wanna tell you is that it's very important to help other people. That's how you know, like, when you pour into other people, God pours into you. Yep. So what we want you to do is share this video with five friends. 
Five friends who doing clothing. Live it. Five friends who trying to get into clothing. Five friends who keep making excuses as to why they're not in clothing. <clears throat> Send this video to them. Let them go do their research. Watch it with them. Sit down with your friends and watch it with y'all. All yeah. right, watch it with y'all. Watch it. You might be blowing in the car. Drop the video on the, in the car. Smoke one with us, right? So with that being said, it's hey, your boy yeah. the real test. Pre-order drop method. We giving y'all the sauce. Hey man, Hollywood Shack, we out this thing. Hey, bro. we out of here, man. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. House boys, we back. Power Rangers out. Bro. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>